welcome again to this new video lecture where we are in discuss with larval forms of echinodermata it's the last and part 3 video if you still not went through those uh, last uh, uh, previous video part uh, 1 and part 2 then link is in my description below you can watch those so in last video we discussed the larvae of asteroidy and today we are gonna discuss the larvae of rest that is auricularia larvae and uh, uh, doliolaria larva of holothuroidy echinopluteus larva of echinoidy ophiopluteus larva of ophiroidy doliolaria and pentacrinoid larva of uh, crinoidy class today also there's a question for you that can echinoderms reproduce at, uh, sexually so stay tuned till last larvae of holothuroidia class holothuroidia demonstrate two larval stages namely auricularia and doliolaria larva so let's uh, know about auricularia larva this larva is resembled with bipinaria larva of asteroidy it possesses four to or five pairs of ciliated arms for swimming and has well developed mouth gut and anus the preoral lobe is very well formed here there are no calcareous rods being replaced by uh, spheroids or star shaped or wheel like body then come to doliolaria larva this is the next stage after auricularia larva it has barrel like body with five ciliated bands surrounding in it mouth or vestibule is on the ventral side for feeding there is neural sensory plate on the anterior side and an apical tuft of cilia is balancing while swimming doliolaria transforms into adult but in some holothurians doliolaria stays may be absent likewise uh, we see in that uh, uh, asteroidy uh, larva some in some cases brachiolaria larva is absent here also in um, holothuroidy doliolaria larva in some species it also absent means they directly formed after the auricularia larva so now come to larvae of echinoidy i have told before to uh, in the previous uh, lecture video that Pluteus larva is of two types one is echinopluteus if it is located if it is uh, in case of echinoidy then it is called echinopluteus and if the pluteus larva in case of ophiroidy then it is called ophiopluteus so let's uh, know about the echinopluteus larva there is a single larval stage only this uh, larva stage is uh, find in echinoidy so the larva is of oval body and long paired ciliated arms are found here here pre oral arm is present but post uh, post oral arm is absent the other three arms are anterolateral post oral and postero dorsal arms mouth anus and gut are well developed here now come to larvae of ophiroidea so if we found the larvae in ophiroidea then we know it's the ophiopluteus larva this larva has a resemblance with echinopluteus larva that is uh, the feature uh, found in echinoidea it has the anterolateral or posterolateral postero dorsal arms uh, are there but pre oral arm is absent instead it has very long posterolateral arms all arms are here supported by calcareous skeletal rods this larva metamorphosis to become adult now come to larva of crinoidy it has also two larva forms one is the doliolaria larva and second one is pentacrinoid larva so first come to doliolaria larva it, it is a look, uh, found in the antidon in case of antidon and it also uh, called as uh, yolk larva and it is also called as vitellaria larva it has a barrel shaped body with slightly flattened ventral side it is a free swimming and exhibits bilateral symmetry 
द सिलेटेड बैंड आर फॉर्मड इन टू फोर और फाइव सेपरेट ट्रांसवर्सली प्लेस्ड बैंड देन अ टॉफ्ट और सिलिया विथ स्टिप्स एंड सॉरी हेयर्स इज फाउंड हियर दैट इज कॉल्ड द एपिकल न्यूरल प्लेट द एंटीरियर सिलेटेड रिंग इज भेंट्रली इनकम्प्लीट हियर the internal structures become rotated at an angle of 90 degree from the ventral uh, to the posterior side means it little little bit twisted then come to the pentacrinoid larva it is also called as cystidine larva this larva stage is found in crinoids after the uh, doliolaria larva it is the second stage of crinoidy like c lily this particular phase is also called as uh, cystidine why because this stage resembles closely the adult pentacrinos and the stalk is in this form develops to the preoral lobe the floor and the mouth and tentacles those are all exposed the anterior end of the antedon larva after attachment is prolonged into an elongated narrow stalk and the free end becomes the broader and it is settled in the uh, lower surface of the c bottom c so it's time to get the answer of today's question is that can echinoderms reproduce asexually so here the answer is yes they can because they show both type of reproduction that is uh, both uh, sexually reproduction and the asexual type of reproduction so uh, sexually reproduction you know much better that the male produce uh, sperm and female produce ova then it uh, uh, fertilized and uh, zygote formed then larva uh, get hatched then adult form is uh, formed and again this process is going on this is in in case of sexual reproduction but a sexually type of uh, reproduction also found in uh, echinodermata those are fragmentation regeneration fission where the body is divided into two parts or a fragmentation means the rep- reproduction of missing body parts so here larval forms in echinodermata is completed clear your doubts in comment section below and if you really get benefited through these lectures then do like share and subscribe my channel